Suppose that in a random selection of 100 colored candies, 26% of them are blue. The candy company claims that the percentage of blue candies is equal to 23%. Use a 0.01 significance level to test that claim. Okay, so let's take a look at this question here. First, let's identify what the claim is. Because once we start with the claim, so it says that the candy company claims that the percentage of the blue candies is equal to 23%. Okay, so that is our claim. But what we want to do is we're going to go ahead and first identify the following. Okay, so we want to identify the following, meaning that what is the sample size given? Well, the sample size is the 100 candies. So we know N is equal to 100. Okay, and then the point estimate is the percentage of them that are blue. Well, that's 26%, and we're going to write that as a decimal, which is 0 0.26. Okay, now what is the proportion of the claim? Well, the proportion of the claim is that it is equal to 23%, and that is 0 0.23 as a decimal. And then what is the complement of that? Well, 1 minus 0 0.23 is going to equal 0 0.77. So now we identify the information that we need for the proportion. Okay, now what are the requirements? Well, we know that the 100 candies were randomly selected. We know that there is a fixed number, 100 of independent trials. And then the requirements is n times p, which is 100, times p, which is 0 0.23. And that gives us 23, which is greater than or equal to 5. And then we're going to take 100 and multiply it by Q, which is 0.77. And that gives us 77, which is greater than or equal to 5. Therefore, all three requirements are satisfied. Okay, now we need to state the claim and the opposite of the claim. So we know that the claim is that the population proportion is going to equal 0 0.23. And we know the opposite would then be that the population proportion does not equal 0 0.23. Okay, so let's go ahead and now identify the null and the alternative hypothesis using this information. Okay, so we have our claim, we have the opposite of the claim. Now, in order to write down the null and the alternative hypothesis. We know the null is always going to contain the equality. So that means the claim is then going to associate with the null. So that means that P is going to equal 0 0.23 for the null. And therefore, the claim is going to be the alternative hypothesis, which P is not equal to 0 0.23. So now we can answer our first question here. So we know that P is going to equal 0 0.23 for the null and for the alternative, P does not equal to 0 0.23. Let's check our answer, and there is our result. Now we need to identify the test statistic for this hypothesis test. So before we do that, let's first determine whether this is a left, right, or two-tailed distribution. Well, since the alternative hypothesis has a not equal sign, then therefore this is a two-tailed test. Okay, now since it's a two-tailed test, then we need to identify the significance level. Well, up here you see we're using a 0.01, so therefore alpha is going to equal 0.01. Okay, now we want to find the test statistic for testing a claim about a proportion. Well, we know that the sample size n is equal to 100. Okay, we know that the point estimate is 0 0.26. We know the value of P is equal to 0 0.23 and the value of Q is equal to 0 0.77. So let's go ahead and then substitute this into our problem. So we have 0 0.26 as the point estimate and then we're subtracting the value of P which is 0 0.23 and then we're going to divide that by the P 0 0.23 times Q, which is 0 
and then divide that by 100 and then we want to approximate this to the nearest two decimal places. So let's go ahead and do this on our calculator. So the numerator is 0 0.26 minus 0 0.23 and then we're going to divide it by the second which is the square root in the numerator we have left parentheses 0 0.23 times 0 0.77 with the right parenthesis and then we're going to divide that by a hundred okay and that's going to give us our test statistics so let's go ahead and find that okay so now we want to round that to two decimal places which is 0 0.71 which is our test statistics so let's go ahead and do that we're going to put in our test statistic of 0. 71 press answer and enter and there is our answer okay now we need to find the p-value for this problem okay so what is the p-value for this problem so in order to find the p-value we need to draw the curve and then label so we know that we're going to draw the curve so we have our bell curve we know that we have a mean of zero and we know that our test statistic, which is 0 0.71, is to the right of 0, which is 0 0.71, which is the test statistic. And so we're going to shade here to the right. But that means that this is two tails, so we have two tails that have the same area. So let's first find the p-value with our test statistic that we have to the right. So to find the p-value of the shaded area to the right, okay, that's going to be the probability of our test statistic, which is greater than or equal to 0 0.71, okay, and that's going to give us the p-value, okay. So let's go ahead and use StackCrunch to find that p-value. So we're going to open up StackCrunch. Okay, now since our test statistic is Z, that means we're using the normal calculator. Okay, and then we're going to put make this greater than or equal to, and then we're going to put in our test statistic of 0 0.71. And then that gives us our p-value. Now the p-value, they want us to round it to three decimal places. So that's going to be 0 0.239. So 0 0.239. Now again, because this is a two-tailed, right, because it's two-tailed, that means we need to take two and multiply it by 0 0.239 to get that p-value times two. So if we take two, multiply that by 0 0.239, that gives us a p-value of 0 0.478. So let's go ahead and check that. So the p-value is 0 0.478, and there is our result. And now we need to identify the conclusion for this test. Okay, so before we identify this, we need to compare the p-value with the significance level. Now remember that we reject the null if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level, and we fail to reject the null if the p-value is greater than the significance level, so the p-value is 0 0.478 and then the significance level from our question if we look over here is 0 0.01 and so therefore it is greater than and since it's greater than then we're going to say that we fail to reject the null hypothesis okay so now before we talk about our conclusion we need to come back here and look at the original claim the original claim contains the equal sign, meaning that it contains the equality. So when we try to decide which one represents our claim here, I mean our conclusion, the first two says the original claim does not include equality. Well, that's not true, so we're going to eliminate these two. Okay, now we need to determine, okay, well the original claim does include equality, but we determined that it fails to reject the null hypothesis, so we're going to exclude the, that one. So we're going to look at this last one here. And so we would say that we would fail to reject the null hypothesis, and then we would say that there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection from the claim that provide with the original claim. 
So in this case here, we're going to say we fail to reject the null hypothesis and there is not sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the percentage of blue candies is equal to 23%. Let's check that answer and there is our result.